What's up YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restoration with Vic. Today we are going to be restoring these white and gray neutral Air Jordan 13s from I believe 2005. Let me double check. 2004. Um, I picked these up on eBay quite a couple months back. I forgot how much I paid for them because it's been a while. Um, when I was on eBay searching, I made sure these were a size 13 so nobody in the office would want them. So what we're going to be doing to this shoe is giving them a full proper deep clean inside and out. Clean up the suede back to its original factory look, widen up the sock liner, get rid of the creasing during the, during the deep cleaning process, um, remove the yellowing off the pods, and touch up the white leather with all the scratches and scuffs. Um, should be a pretty basic restoration, so let's get started. The first step we're gonna to do to get started with this restoration is remove the shoelaces and insert our extra large rejuvenator shoe tree that will fit the size 13s. For today's cleaning, we're gonna be using rejuvenator sneaker launch system along with our four brushes, our soft, medium, stiff, and brass brush. First step we gotta do is square some rejuvenator solution. <laughs> For today's cleaning, we're gonna be using rejuvenator snog. Snog. <laughs> For today's cleaning, we're gonna be using a rejuvenator sneaker line system, along with our four brushes, our soft bristle brush, our medium bristle brush, our stiff and brass brush. First thing we're gonna do is squirt some squirts of our rejuvenator solution into our glass oil bowl. First brush we're gonna be using is a stiff bristle brush to clean out these soles. All done with the stiff bristle action. Now we're gonna move on to the brass bristle brush to clean up the pods and a little bit more on the soles. Whoopsie there, missed it. All right guys, soles are fully cleaned up, same thing with the pods. So now we're gonna move on to the next brush, which is the all-purpose. We're gonna be using this brush to clean up the white leather. White leather is fully pre-treated onto the next brush, which is a soft bristle brush to clean up these dirty sock liners and the suede all over the shoe. Shoes are fully pre-treated. Now we're gonna throw the shoe inside the washing machine, but first we gotta put the shoe inside our sneaker laundry bag. You'll be in the after credits. Washing machine time. As always, we're gonna to wanna to turn the washing machine on first, have our settings at cold water with a small cycle since we are only cleaning one shoe. Put the shoe inside the washing machine apply a one ounce of our rejuvenator sneaker line detergent. This stuff's the best. Pour it on the shoe. Close the damn washing machine and press start. All right guys, shoes are out the washing machine and fully dried. They came out really, really good. The washing machine did its job. The sock liners are back to white. Even the insoles widened up really good and I didn't even hit them. Um, uppers look great. The suede is back to its original color. All those stains and scuffs are completely out. Um, even if they're still soft, I didn't, I didn't have to use a brass bristle brush. Um, shoes are good to go. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is removing the yellowing off the pods. We're gonna be using So Long Care 40, Sabram Wrap, my brush, and my indoor setup.
All right, guys, we are back from removing the yellowing off the soles. Check out the before and after. Turned out great. All the paws are back to white. They match the uppers. Um, I put the shoes for a good 45 minutes to an hour inside the indoor setup. That's all it took. So moving on with this restoration, the next step we're gonna move on to is re-gluing these parts on the shoe. Um, first step we gotta do is prep using acetone, cotton balls, and some tape. Shoes are fully prepped. Pretty much what I just did right now using acetone and cotton balls was went in, removed all the old factory glue. That way when I come in with the new glue, um, it can adhere and bond properly. What I'm gonna do next is once more, retape the uppers and cut up the suede. So when we go in and apply some bar cement, we don't get any glues in those areas. All right guys, so we got a thin layer of bar cement laid down. Um, what we're gonna do next is wait seven minutes um, so we can let it cure and then we're gonna clamp it together. Seven minutes are up, time to clamp. Yawn. 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 Shape them up, dude. Like, what are you doing messing around behind the camera throwing tricks up in the air, dude? We gotta get this done. You want to help? People want the custom battle, dog. Really? I haven't seen anything. People want the custom battle. I haven't seen anything, dude. All right, guys. We're all done with the glue job. I waited a good two hours to have the glue fully dried, and it came out great. As you can see, there's no glue where there shouldn't be in any areas. Um, alignment's perfect, and it's really sturdy. I'll show you guys. So moving on to the next step is the white leather. Um, in some areas, there's some deep scratches and scuffs. We're gonna take care of that. On the toe box especially, there's a deep scratch. We're gonna be using 2000 grit sandpaper to smooth down that area. Once that's done, we're gonna acetone the leather, then repaint it. All done prepping the leather. In this area specifically, I sanded down the leather as much as possible. So now we're ready to lay down this flat white color using this angular brush. The leather is fully done, looks really good. The scratch that was right here on this side is pretty much fully gone. There's still a slight hairline, but it looks way better than what it used to look like. Next step we're gonna do to protect this freshly painted leather is go outside and spray it with some Krylon, matte, finish. Follow me.
All right, guys, that is going to bring us to an end on this full restoration on these white and gray Air Jordan 13s. This was a pretty cut and dried restoration, but the before and afters are quite noticeable. Um, pretty much what I did in this restoration was give them a full proper deep clean. Um, one thing I was concerned about was the gray suede, um, but as you can see, there was no issues with that at all. All that grime came out nicely. Um, the buttery texture is still there, which is a plus. During the deep cleaning process, we were also able to remove the majority of the creasing on the toe boxes. As you can see on the befores, the toe boxes were pretty crushed. Once that was done, I moved on to removing the yellowing off the pods. That was easy thanks to my indoor setup. Then I re-glued the separation on the front of the shoe, similar process as well. And then I finished off this restoration by repainting the uppers and doing some minor touch-ups all around the shoe. Like I said before, this was a pretty standard restoration, but the shoes turned out great thanks to the good old Vic Almighty special touch. Thanks to the good old, thanks to the good old Vic, uh, thanks to the good old, what special, uh, Motherfucker. Thanks to the good old Vic Almighty Touch. You can find all our products you see right here at rejuvenator.com. Check out the description below to save some bucks on your next purchase. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next Monday.